Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to cut out an object and place it on a new background and include the shadow. Process is really easy once you understand what you need to do. And the key is to cut out the shadow separately from the object. And the reason is we need to use a blending mode on the shadow to get it to look realistic. So the first thing I'm going to do here in this image is go ahead and hit command J to duplicate the background. So we're going to rename this as bottle. If I can spell it right. And we're going to rename this as shadow. And that will help you understand what I'm doing and which layer is which. So we want to click on the bottle image first. Now there's nothing wrong with this photo. This is just a process and a simple image that I have that I can show you how to cut two different things out. This works no matter what it is. So what I'm going to do is come up here and I think I'll just grab the quick selection tool for this. We'll drag over the bottle until we get a pretty good selection. Look, it doesn't need to be perfect because we can go into the mask and, and fix that later. And that's pretty good selection. So what we're going to do is simply come over here and create a mask. And so if I turn this off, you can see it's just that bottle. All right, don't worry about the color cast because in this case, we're going to remove that. We're going to turn this all black and white. But you will have a color cast if you do have a colored background. So it is something to think about. We could keep that if we wanted, but it wouldn't look realistic on the white background that we have. So the next thing that we want to do is come to the shadow. And you need to zoom in and kind of see this. This is kind of a difficult selection because the way this shadow works is it's hard. And then it actually goes straight, but there's this little water shadow right here. And we want to try to not pick that up. So we're going to come in here and make try to get this selection. We want to get that area too. And here's that weird area that we don't want. All right, that's pretty good. I just need to get close because I can come in here and fix that. Once again, create another mask. Bam, just like that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to get our new background. So here's our new background. We're going to take this. We're going to drag it up, over, down, and then I'm going to hold shift, and that's going to place that in the center. And it looks like we missed this little area right here, and that's not a big deal. So we will go to bottle. We will grab the brush, a white tool, and simply just paint it back in. There we go. That's fixed. That's the cool thing about mask. You can always repair or fix just about anything that you want to do. Now you can see, let me zoom in a little bit here. We've got a little bit of fringing on this bottle and that's okay to have a little bit of fringing on the bottle. This is normal when you cut things out that sometimes you get this here. And in this case, if you look, it's actually just on one side of the bottle. So what I'm doing is coming in here and just trying to paint in the little, the rest of the little edges that we have. And when you do this, having a small round brush is actually helpful. You don't want a soft brush. You want a small hard brush to do it. And so what we have here is this edge. So what I'm going to do is something weird. I'm going to go ahead and grab the lasso tool. And I'm just going to go along this edge here. And what I'm doing to switch to the polygonal lasso tool, I'm actually not in the polygonal lasso tool. Well, I am, but I'm on the regular lasso tool. If you hold the alt option when you use this, it does turn into the polygonal lasso tool. And so we're just going to go in here. And what we're going to do is, as long as you're in the mask, you can minimize or shrink this. So we're going to go down to other, and then we're going to go to minimum. And what this is going to do is reduce that selection or mask. So you can see there it is. And I can just reduce this until I get rid of that little line, just like that. So we're at two pixels, bam, just like that. Totally clean and we can zoom back out. All right, cool. So now we've got a good cutout of this image. Now we have the background in the wrong spot, so I'll just drag this down to the bottom so we can see that. And then all we want to do is simply go to the shadow layer. And to get this to work, all we need to do is change our blending mode. Now, a lot of times when you're doing this, because this image has this weird color that I'm cutting it out from, but if you had something with a more neutral or normal color, you would just probably use the blending mode of multiply. 
But in this case, we're going to end up using luminosity because I'm going to turn this into black and white. We just want to remove that color, but keep the shadow. Because we've turned this into black and white, we want to turn this into black and white. And I don't need to clip the layer because it's just going to make the whole image black and white. So we'll just click black and white layer. If I wanted to clip it to just there, I could, but there's no reason to do that. And just like that, we basically got what we want. Now, what I'm gonna do is soften these edges up a little bit. And there's a couple different ways to do it. So we wanna to go to the shadow. And what I can do is come up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Remember, this is the mask, it is not the image. So as I increase this blur, you can see I'm actually increasing or softening the edges of this mask. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And let me toggle back and forth. So this was our black and white layer. And then this is with that blurred edge layer. So all we did was soften that shadow a little bit. So it looks a little bit more realistic in the image. Now this is already a hard light. So you're gonna have sort of a hard edge. You could also come in here and be more exact. Now I don't use the blur tool, but I have mine located in here. And I could come down to the blur tool and I could actually paint on the edges of this to blur this a little bit more if I wanted to do it. So that's also a secondary option. We're just blurring the mask. We're not actually blurring the image in any of these cases. And that's basically how you cut out something with a shadow and put it on a new completely separate background. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>